Russia and the United States have just uh, introduced to the Security Council a draft resolution on the uh, elimination of uh, chemical weapons in Syria. It is fully in line with the framework agreement uh, which uh, was reached in Geneva by Foreign Minister Lavrov and Secretary Kerry. So it took us only two weeks uh, to bring uh, that framework agreement to fruition. In our work uh, to achieve that goal, we greatly benefited by the presence in New York of Foreign Minister Lavrov and Secretary Kerry, who were personally engaged and who were the ones who hammered out the final details of the draft which we were supposed to introduce. Uh, you, you'll hear much more about, when, uh, about the draft when uh, it is actually going to be adopted, but uh, let me say that we believe that uh, it is uh, uh, something which is working very pragmatically and strongly in support of uh, this effort of the elimination of chemical weapons in Syria, in support of the uh, uh, role, uh, a very important role, which is going to be played uh, in that uh, work by the Organization on the Prohibition of, of Chemical Weapons. Uh, and uh, uh, we, we, we are sure that this is something which uh, is uh, uh, giving uh, a good uh, support for uh, this work uh, which will need to be uh, undertaken by, uh, by the Syrians, by the Organization on the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, by the United Nations and uh, all the interested parties which are going to be contributing to this uh, process. Uh, one other thing, uh, one of the provisions uh, of, uh, of this uh, draft is, uh, uh, I mean, there are some, a couple of political provisions, but we're also able uh, to include in this uh, draft resolution endorsement of the uh, Geneva communique of June 30, 2012, for a variety of reasons after, uh, uh, after uh, that uh, communique was adopted, the Security Council was not able to endorse and it in its uh, resolution. Uh, uh, now we have succeeded in doing that and there is also uh, a call for uh, convening as soon as possible an international uh, conference on Syria, the Geneva II, um, and the work uh, on, on that track is continuing very actively as well. So uh, we, we hope that uh, the resolution will be adopted soon, maybe even tomorrow night. It will depend on whether um, a decision of the uh, executive board of the Organization of the Prohibition of Chemical uh, Weapons will be able to adopt its uh, uh, decision on this matter by the time uh, we could convene tomorrow night uh, to have uh, uh, that draft resolution adopted. Can I ask you about the compliance, the compliance provision where it says, it says you know, decides in the event of noncompliance to impose measures under Chapter 7. That would, just to be clear, that would involve coming back to the Council and determining that yes, noncompliance uh, occurred. Yes, absolutely, of course. I think this is clear. And this is... Uh, language taken verbatim from the uh, Geneva Framework Agreement and uh, one has to read and reprodu reproduce it very carefully because every word, every comma, uh, every uh, uh, article, definite or indefinite, uh, are very important in that language. Thank you very much.